You think she won't leave you for that buff dude? Promise you, bro, she will. You think she won't leave you for that guy? See, this guy will say he's not a misogynist. Why is this misogynistic? It's real simple. Because you see, when he's explaining to other men what women will do to you, he they will leave you for that buff dude. They will leave you for the guy with more money. It is entirely disrespectful to the entire female gender to suggest that women are this way, generally. Like when you say women have no integrity, no character, are dishonest, are lying, are users, are shallow, have no empathy, have no bonding, have no connection, have no love, and then we sit here and look at the reality of what women have suffered and tolerated with these types of men, because the reality is this is the same guy that in another video will talk about how he's incapable of monogamy, that he will never settle down. I've seen this same guy say, I'm not a misogynist, and then start talking about his masculine male nature, and then you start hearing videos about high value men and how they're always going to have access to women and that women need to understand that high value men and and um it's it's totally irresponsible it is totally derogatory and you can listen to the contempt that he has for women that this is not somebody that loves women this is somebody that's a victim that is being a victim so all these alpha male men that say things about women will leave you for buff guys, women will leave you for money, women will leave you for an upgrade, that is called projecting. That is why he is incapable of monogamy, because his identity has a lot to do with the woman next to him. That a woman is nothing but a fixture in his imagination, something that's meant as arm candy or something that means something about his status or stature. And it's a futility that he is expressing. His frustration is with himself. He has an inability to empathize with women. He has an inability to maintain healthy relationships. He has an inability to think about women in a way that is not demeaning or disrespectful or derogatory. That his explanation for the nature of women is all any woman would ever need to know about what she could expect in a relationship with him. And this is the same type of guy that tells you that your education doesn't matter, that your income doesn't matter, and that being successful makes you masculine. And that your masculinity is somehow a threat to his masculinity. And yet he's an alpha. And that does not sound alpha to me. Being a victim to an entire gender, the same gender that you're trying to subordinate and suggest needs men and is dependent on men and what will they do without the men, yet you're a victim to them. Yet you need them to reduce themselves. Yet you need them to be smaller. You need them to be subservient and submissive by default to all men in order for you to even have a chance. And even with that submissive, docile woman, you couldn't find a way to be monogamous and stable anyway. And so why even bother talking about women at all? It's clear that you don't like them. It's clear that you're incapable of relating to them. And it's clear that you will never have the capacity to, to foster a meaningful and healthy relationship. And so why are you so obsessed with them anyway? It's already clear in the way that you talk about women that you are incapable of being a real man in the life of a woman. And so stop disparaging women because of your own incapability, insecurity, and deficiencies as a man. You shouldn't even be talking about women. You have a lot of work to do on yourself before you even look at a woman.